One of the resources you can use is www.theartstory.org, and I'm just going to show you how to use it. Um, you can be separated by movements. You can also look by artists. If you look at the top of the screen, artists. Um, we're going to be doing research for pop art. I've given you several links to watch. They're pretty short. I don't think there's any above five minutes. And if I hit pop art movement, I can go through here. It'll just come up. Obviously a lot of other, and I was just on pop art, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to click. And now I'm in the pop art movement. This is giving me several artists, the key artists. It goes through and you can look at their works. Let's choose Roy Lichtenstein, who's one of my faves. Um, he's a Jewish American painter, sculptor, lithographer, printer. And he also did 3D sculptures. In one of the videos I've actually um, put on the link on Google Classroom, you can see his installation pieces, which are pretty cool. For your project, pop art project, you may do a digital piece, you may do an actual painting, or you may even choose to tackle a sculpture. That would be really cool. Um, I'll probably be uploading some more links and ideas for your pieces, but they have quotes, a brief summary about the artist, the key ideas behind his pieces. Um, He's famous for the bende dots. If you look really closely, those are those tiny little dots. Those are called bende dots. Um, these are his important pieces. They're inspired by, pop art pieces are inspired by what was happening at the time, what was popular in culture. So you, when you design your piece, you may wanna think about what is going on around me. Obviously the COVID-19 virus might be a subject of your piece. Um, usually the pieces were very colorful. Um, they were very relatable. People for no matter what walk of life from around the world could recognize the images. So the images do need to have some recognizability. I think that's a word. Um, so you can see that there's several pieces. You can click on those pieces. Um, I really like his sculptures. Um, I like his furniture pieces. And then you even have people that influenced Roy Lichtenstein, and then you have people influenced by Roy Lichtenstein. There are additional videos for all of these artists, websites, audio clips. Um, he's pretty interesting. He worked in the studio and he would eat lunch at the same place every day. I think this is one of the videos I actually put as a link on yours. So again, www.theartstory.org, and then you can click on this specific movement. If you favor another artist, Andy Warhol, Jasper Johns, um, there's quite a few pop artists on here. I'm gonna go through these a little bit more. There's even a nun, Sister Corita Kent, who was pretty famous. She was an American printmaker and pop artist. So they have some video clips on hers. So your work can be very different. Pop art wasn't all cartoonish looking. Some of it was what I would call a little bit more drab. Um, it may involve text. Um, it may be something more simple. Um, printmaking, if we were in school, I would actually introduce you to printmaking for this project. If you have access to printmaking supplies where you can carve into a rubber block, you can even do it on styrofoam. Or you, what you can also do is carve, cut out cardboard and paint over the top and then print onto your surface. So you can do use collage type techniques for this. I'm going to post a couple of pop art techniques. Romero Brito is also a contemporary pop artist. Um, his work is highly marketed. I'm going to go back to Tom Wesselman, who happens to be from Cincinnati. Alex Katz. David Hockney is a British pop artist. Robert Rauschenberg did these humongous large paintings. Um, we don't really think of him too much. Like I said, all art movements tended to start in Great Britain or in Europe, and then they would move slowly, just like Impressionism started in France and then moved over to pretty quickly to the United States. So did pop art. So um, there's some key components about pop art in general in here. I'm gonna let you read it. I'm not gonna read these to you. Something you can go through on your own, but on Google Classroom, I will be posting these links and I have the directions for what I expect. Remember, for this week, you will have due dates, and I will post those separately on Google Classroom.